Welcome back, adventurers, to episode 19. I think today we're going to be heading into the lower city. Which might be the most exciting exploration moment of this entire playthrough, possibly. And we have a few quests that we have to work on. Of course, our main quest to find the nether stones from Gortash and Orin. But we also have to try to find a way to infiltrate Raphael's House of Hope. Astarion has his quest. We have to reach Cazador's Palace. Gale wants us to go to Sorceress Sundries to find some special books that will give us information on our quest. So we have a lot to do. We have to head to the Elf Song Tavern. And there's Nobber again. Let's talk to him one more time. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he came running over. Roar! 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 Are you scared? Did you wet your pants? Did you? Did you? Let me guess, you've decided to try being a barbarian. That's right! You got it! Yay! So how did I do? Are you quaking in your boots with fear? Sure, why not? Yes! Nobber has found his calling! Rob! <laughs> Maybe not! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna see more of Nobber. That's too funny. Alright, so we have a pass to get into the lower city. But I don't know if that would work right here. I'm, I'm a little bit worried that the Steel Watchers are going to connect to my mind again. Maybe they won't, maybe they will. But that would be bad. Because that would let Gortash know that we're here. And a lower pass city... Or a pass to the lower city might actually be what we need to get in up here at the actual city at the Basilisk Gate. I'm not sure if Larian's going to let us explore like some of these outer city districts or not. That would be crazy. I'm assuming after this section we probably teleport to the gate, but I don't know. It looks like we have an explorable area down here. But how to get across. And something down here too. Okay. Let's try going around. Oh, crap. Greetings, citizen Fluffington. I trust you are enjoying... I didn't mean to click on the Steel Watcher. Got some refugees down here. Look at the tents in the background. Incredible detail. All right, let's um, let's prepare Featherfall. This is a ritual spell, which it wasn't in early access. We can use that spell whenever we want. I didn't realize it was a ritual until recently. Nice. Oh my god. Who just jumped back up there? That was a hell of a jump, Lazel. Hey, another wizard hat. Alright, let's call in Fern, because there's no citizens around here. Hey, girl. Let's go check out over here and see if we're able to get around this fortress. Beautiful land of Faerun, the planet of Toril. Might be one of my favorite songs from the soundtrack as well.
We can jump over here too. Holy cow. So many places we can go right now. Let's check out what's down below first. There's a chest down there. Look at Fern. Oh my gosh. Come on, girl. Everybody's failing the perception check, so let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, we also have the quest to find Minsk with Jahira. So I can't wait to do that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I think Gale's the only one who hasn't done the perception check. <laughs> Fern's a little clumsy. Okay, let's disarm this trap. Light on my feet. My face if I have... Me. I do, okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, we failed. Okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> wow. The hell of a chain lightning right there. I'm pretty sure that between the guards, the arrows, and the jugged thunderbolt, you'll never survive to read this note, but just in case, I want to make sure you know what you did to deserve all this. Remember that shiv you stuck in my leg when you turned me in. That's why. Enjoy your escape while you can, arsewipe. I'll be coming to haunt you in your sleep. Okay. Anything else we can do down here? Won't even let me bring the camera that way. I think that's it down here. Back up we go. I don't have any more short rests. I have to use a few of my spell slots to heal up here. Or some potions. On road ahead. One day I'll catch a break. The good thing in this game, at least on balance, on tactician, on my other run. Which I'm way further back than this run. This is my first time experiencing this content. Requires 80 camp supplies to rest. A little bit more difficult on Tactician. Unless you're always looking for food. But on balance, it's quite easy to take long rests, so... You don't necessarily have to conserve your spell slots that much. Okay, what do we got here? Um, looks like a wall that we could listen to that music. Not even let me inspect the wall. No rest for the wicked, I see. There's nothing to target, nothing to inspect, and there's no passive perception or investigation checks. I wonder if it's bugged out or if that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, let me see if I can target it with the knock spell. Oh, there's nothing to target. Okay, well, let's go back. And check out the other side. Because there was two sides to this. Maybe we could just take a boat. Take that rowboat, that would be awesome. I don't mind going back, though. This is a beautiful area of the game. Like we have some vines, we can climb right here.
I feel like I have just enough spell slots right now to handle one combat encounter. I have a few high level ones with Gale. I also have those potions that restore some spell slots. I'm ready. Shadowheart also has plenty of spell slots, minus the higher level ones, so I should be fine. If we end up in a combat encounter. And if we go that way, if you head west, you end up in the Sea of Swords. How much farther can I go? The coast. Oh, we can actually see inside this one. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. <gasps> I don't even know. We have to somehow make it to... Oh, wow, it actually looks like this is explorable content still. still alive. So that's okay. Um, I want to use Seeming right here, which is a level 5 illusion spell. This guy is up to four members of your adventuring party. We could change the appearance of all of my characters. And I wonder if we go in here and if we get caught by the fist. How that would affect things. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's make use of some of these utility spells. So I actually am going to take a long rest right now. And while we're here, I might as well pull Jahira into the group as well. We'll pick Lazelle back up when we make some more progress on what Voss wants us to do. Voss is waiting beneath the city. We'll apprise him of our progress once we have the Orphic Hammer in hand. Voss has gone underground. Okay, wait for me in camp. You believe you can sub as you say. Hello, Jahira. Would you like to join my group? And then we'll drop aid. And we'll do it at level four. Yeah. Nice. And here we go. Seeming. Level five illusion spell. Up to four party members. One, two, three... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Look at Gal. And that's my character, and that oh my character's the dwarf. And that's Jahira. Alright. This is the new entourage. So let's go ahead and Use knock, level two. No time to rest. Let's head on in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Maybe nobody's even going to be. Wow. We must not stand idle as it burns the city to ash. Yes, but... Probably hit F5. Uh-oh, somebody's coming that way. Let's... Oh, we got a fist out here. Okay, let's go back in. This is a restricted what? area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a Are cell. Are you serious? Wow, 2200 gold. Holy crap. Oh, man. All right, let's try to convince this guard that we belong here. Talk our way out of it. Let's give it a try. I don't think it's going to work. Deception, intimidation, and persuasion. Not good at any of those. My apologies. I seem to have taken a wrong turn. 
Come on, we got this. We got this. Oh my god. Your conviction is enough. This will be taken no further. Nonetheless, this area remains forbidden. Should you attempt such a feat again, you will find yourself on the deserving end of justice. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no. No way. Okay, well, I will fast forward the video because I'm going to head back to that same spot. We're going to try to be a little bit more stealthy as we explore. And I have returned. I was thinking about popping an invisibility potion to scout around here a little bit, but those only last for one minute of in-game time. Let's instead use Wild Shape with Jahira. We'll turn into a cat. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. I'm not sure if this entire place is a restricted area, but I'm definitely erring on the side of caution after what just happened to us. Oh, we have a guard right there. Well, let's test out the cat right now. Okay, it looks like we're good. Oh no! Oh no! Keep that thing on a shorter leash. I can't get back in. <laughs> Oh no. Have to keep pushing. <laughs> Ready and waiting. Well, okay, there we go. Waiting. I think the say cats can yes, open say. up doors. Apparently not that one. Yes, but... There we go. Oh man. A true leader, not a council, simpering bureaucrats. That leader is Enver Gortash. This is Gortash's coronation ceremony that we heard about earlier. Wow. Ravengard is making him the Grand Duke. Don't forget, all the Ravengard is under the influence of the tadpole. He is not to be trusted right now, even though he is a well-respected duke and also a leader of the Flaming Fist. Wow. And we have the wealthy families of the city. Today we name Lord Enver Gortash as Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Aye! Aye! Aye. The council is unanimous. Let our wars be guarded with steel. You know what's interesting is I think I have an invitation to this. Archducal Coronation Admission Pass. We got this back from, I think his name was Arfur back in the Rivington District. This pass grants access for Bear and Entourage to Worms Rock Audience Hall for a ceremony of Lord Gortesh's elevation to Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Uh, I'm not sure if I would want to go to that. Maybe under disguise, like I am right now, but I have a feeling that Gortash will be able to sense our tadpoles. I don't know if it's a good idea. Yes, but Let's see what else is going on here. No rest. Be you wicked? The royal no cat. Rest. Mizora, what the heck? What is she doing here? Yep, so this is the audience hall. Raven guards are here. Elderald would still be stuck in the elves if it weren't for him. Have you seen the tieflings at the south gate? Elderald's exiles, cast out by their own city. Your precious hero liberated them from one hell. You have a supporter of Raven Guard and someone who doesn't like Raven Guard. Oh. stones to control it it will soon start acting on its own will we might be going to another outer city district right now it's Mazora again seems like the game really wants us to talk to her okay so this oh wow this is a loading this is a fast travel point to the lower city right, let's have a chat with Mazora now that we're out this way I don't think there's a waypoint to where I can get my team here. If 
it isn't little Will's chums. I hope he hasn't been too much trouble. Heard about his father. The Dead Three's puppet. A travesty, really. He's upstairs in Worms Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid shindig, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. And bring the pup along, if you can. I'd hate for him to miss the fun. Mazora wants us to go to the coronation ceremony. I mean, we don't really trust her, though. We found Mazora at Worm's Rock Fortress. She insisted we attend Gortash's ordination. Seek her out afterwards. And we have Karlak's quest. We learned Gortash is currently being ordained as Archduke of Baldur's Gate. This could be Karlak's chance to confront him. Interesting. So we definitely can go to that ceremony and I'm very tempted to go to it, but at the same time, I just don't think it's a good idea. RP wise. Like, why would we walk into that ceremony? There's steel watch everywhere and Gortash clearly is not happy with us right now. So let's hold off on that for a little bit here. I really, I hope it doesn't completely ruin Karlak's quest. It just doesn't seem like a good approach to confront Gortash. Maybe it is, actually, because you have a huge audience. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's see if I can get a waypoint here. We're going to switch to Will and Carlac, and we're going to go... We're going to attend it. Because maybe this is... I don't want to ruin Carlac's quest, or Will's quest. And also, maybe this is the time to confront him, because there's such a large audience of people watching. So maybe we can expose him, kind of like you do with Saravak. The lower city we go. We gotta find a waypoint. And welcome to the lower city of Baldur's Gate. It looks like my entire team has been transported here. Well, this is surreal to be walking in the lower city in 2023. 1492 DR. Shame no one cares Man, everybody runs from Fern. I feel so bad for her. I think you're beautiful, Fern, but... You know what? I don't want you being made fun of all day. Okay, let's take a quick look here. Oh my god. And there's the counting house right there, which is like the city's mob-run bank. We can see the top of Sorceress Sundry is your one-stop shop for magical items. And that's where Gale wants us to go. The Harbor Master's office is in the distance right there. And then the Sea Tower of Baldurin, which is a Flaming Fist headquarters, and also a defense fortress for the bay. And we might be walking this entire city, I'm not sure. Exploration is one of my favorite parts of RPGs. So before we switch to Carlac and Will, to maybe attend that ceremony, even though I kind of think it's a bad idea, but I also think game design-wise, I don't want to ruin Carlax and Will's quest. You really won't feel it. Let's take a quick look at the lower city. Like Gortash has tyrannical control. Only Gortash can protect us from the Absolute. Baldur's Mouth. This is the news agency. The main newspaper agency of the city. Let's check it out. A lot of Steel Watchers in here. Can't slow down. What to do? And Larian did say in some marketing in the past that we can manipulate the newspaper of the city. I plan on doing that at some point, depending on what it says. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Still missing one link! Oi, shove off! Don't be peeking at my scoop! At Far Needle, I know that name from Descent into Avernus. Well, well! If it isn't the city's next celebrity, you star in our next edition's top story. 
Do we have another Volo here? I'm sorry, who are you? Edvard Needle, editor of the Baldur's Mouth Gazette, speaking truth to power since 1450DR. No need to introduce yourself. I make sure I become intimately familiar with my subjects before writing about them. It seems odd you've written the article before asking me any questions. Estra deals with the personal interviews and fluff pieces. I deal with the truth. And the truth is, you're a damned menace. Trafficking refugees into our city is hardly a good look. Especially when so many are absolutists and murderers. The truth will be out with tomorrow's broadsheet. People will spit in your face. Your very presence will be bad for business. You'll be a pariah, an outcast, as you should be. And then, we can only hope the fists do their duty and escort you to the gallows. Your days of scumming up this good city streets will be over. And who told you this nonsense? I would never reveal my sources, and certainly not to the likes of you. Besides, you're too late. The headlines are loaded into the print works already. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. you will feel the power of free speech. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Now, guards! I believe our distinguished guest was just leaving. Serious? Would you care to escort them out? Doesn't seem like a good idea to attack the guards right now. That guy was awfully rude. The truth is the truth. Definitely going to be coming back there. Sneaking in, seeing what we can do. Okay, so in BG1, I think the Elf Song Tavern is quite close to when you come through the Basilisk Gate. And actually, I think we did come through the Basilisk Gate. Let me come back up here real fast. I'm going to take a moment to just do some... Yeah, you can see the Basilisk Gate. Do a little sightseeing here. And there it is, the mighty Basilisk Gate. The gate to get you from the outer city into the lower city of the city. And you can see all these stone statues, which are prior dukes of the city. That's why it's called the Basilisk Gate, because they're stone. Oh, it looks like the Elf Song Tavern is right there. This is the Storm... Stormshore Tabernacle. Thank you, Amelia. What the heck is that? Mistress Lightness. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. I should pay my respects to Lady Shah as well. Okay. The temple with several... gods and goddesses. You have a statue of Mistra here, the mother of magic. One that Gale was in love with. And you have Saluna. Tyr. Statue of Helm, the god of paladins. Defenders. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Vicar Humbletoes. Greetings, child of faith. Be welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Who are you? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. And what can I do here? Here, clerics may commune with their gods and even hear their responses if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Okay. Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wear. The mantle of the holy warrior. There'll be a lot of gear in the city here. Radiate a holy power that emboldens nearby allies. Their weapon attacks deal an additional one to four radiant damage. Wow. Costs 1500 
And then we have some revivify scrolls. I don't know like what I want to sell yet because I'm curious if we can use these in like different shops in the city like the silver ingot. I want to talk to a blacksmith. I'm thinking we can't at this point. Buy one res scroll. The sacred star. On a hit, inflict one turn of radiating orb upon the target. Undead creatures struck by this we weapon are possibly turned. Wow. Some really good items in this game. When you heal a creature, it gains the effect of Blade Ward. When you revive a creature, it gains the effect of Death Ward. No way. The Blade Ward is resistance to physical damage for two turns, and Death Ward allows a character to be knocked to zero HP, but actually be knocked to one HP instead of going unconscious. And you get the Revivify. That's a really... Really good item right there. I don't have money right now. And this is the Elf Song Tavern right here to the right. Important to the Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance series, the ARPG series, and also Baldur's Gate 1, of course. Okay, before we go in, before we go in, because we have some quests bringing us there, let's just see the city for a second. I always said the elf song's haunted. Yeah, so there's an eerie song that is played in the elf song from a elf who has died and her husband left her to go off to war and he never came back and she haunts the place now singing songs about him but I think the song that she sings now is different and she actually sings about Descent into Avernus It'll be interesting to see if that song plays when we go in there What's that? Not for communal use it seems Best show some respect Okay, I respect or that some more cunning. Yeah, I agree Shouldn't be just digging up things in a grave Metal pipe here, hold on Oh, hold on Okay, it was worth a try. No time to rest. Okay. You know what, Jahira? I want Jahira yeah, in her elf form. Done. Because she's going to know some things about the city, and I want to be able to talk to her. Speaking of that, let me do Speak with Animals. I keep forgetting that I have this spell. I'm going to keep that active. Hope we see any creatures down here. Wow, the city is just full of so much detail. Holy crap. And what do we have here? A forge and a blacksmith. Okay. Light hammer, charcoal. Blacksmith's bellows. Check it out real fast. Diabolic forge. It's locked. All right. A suggestive nod. I don't believe it. Oh man, I think we're close to tumble down the outer city. Just, I'm not sure where Astarion's quest is. It kind of gives me the vibes here. Click on this plaque. Is this the Czar Mansion? The Devil's Fate. I'm not entirely sure. I think it is, because we're very close to investigate Cazador's palace for Astarion. Okay, go over here and take a left. And then we're on the backside of Sorcerer's Sundries. Nice, we got a waypoint. Wow, look at it. That's incredible. There's Aridin. <laughs> From outside the Druid's Grove in the beginning of the game. Okay, let's check out up here. 
Oh, here's a cat. Let's have a chat with the cat. It was another day in the city of lies, Baldur's Gate, where the people begged for justice until they starved. Two heroes were fated to cross paths that day. Their eyes met. Destiny was calling. You all right? It was in the tall one's voice. They knew they cared about this creature, but they didn't know why. But the cat did. This could be the beginning of something. Two heroes against the world, enacting justice for those unable to seek their own. All the tall one had to do was say yes. Yes, join me. The tall one had failed the first test. They lacked <laughs> caution. The cat could have just as easily been a foe as a potential friend. Perhaps it was simply not meant to be. Okay, fair enough, brother. That's kind of funny. Bloom Ridge Park. Wow, so big. That's a statue of Baldurin right here, the founder of the city. And the city is massive so far. I'm so surprised that Larian made it so big. I think you can go into pretty much every house too. Okay, we're coming up to the harbor. And there is the Water Queen's Temple, the Temple to Umberly, evil goddess of the sea. Best to say a prayer to Umberly before you set off on your ship by throwing gold and valuable items into the ocean in the temple. Then we have the ship right here. I was the blushing mermaid. speculating. Not it is the blushing mermaid. Our speculations were correct. In fact, hole may be the so this is another tavern, Elf Song Tavern, and Blushing Mermaid. Blushing mermaid. And this tavern is known to be quite crazy for its bar fights. Let's walk in and just check it out briefly. There's there's the mermaid. Some of the finest artists and musicians began their career amidst stale beer and sticky floors. I swear, oh, oh, the there is only a poet to be found in even the dingiest of holes. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we can actually do a long rest here and then grab Carlac and also Will. No pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Yeah. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly has sank you. Got it? What do you sell here? Use your eyes. <laughs> oh, nice. Camp supply packs. Great. I'm sure we can find plenty of food in the city if we need to. Enjoy the blushing mermaid. Can we get a room here, though, sir? If you're here to complain that the booze tastes like piss, I know. Anything <laughs> else? <sighs> Is there an if option to buy a room? I don't see anything here. Okay, let's Enjoy go check out upstairs. Talk to this guy. If you had to choose the rat one or the blonde one, which should I? Which would you choose? <laughs> what are you talking about? Red one or blonde one? Red. It's the easy choice. You're right. You're so right. Bosun! A red ale. <laughs> nice.
I have a drunk guy on the ground right here. A lot of drunk people in the Blushing Mermaid. Okay. All right. I think we're going to definitely be coming back here quite a lot. Oops, I clicked on Shadowheart. This gate. You know, I never quite believed I'd actually make it back. It wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. Better than hating the place without remembering why. I suppose it is. Though the chance to savor the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect to. I didn't choose the Baldurian option. Surprised that she said local knowledge. Maybe she's speaking to Jihira. Oh, finally. Some bloody peace and quiet. Gimbus? Ah, oh, how beautiful. This is amazing. I have a feeling that this act, if you do all of the content, is much larger than Act 1. Could be wrong, but... Okay, we're very close to murder target Alexander. What's going on down here? Blast it. This cargo's heavy as lead. And I've got lumbago issues. Okay. Yeah, let's go up this way. I wonder if I can get through that gate. Investigate the suspicious toys. Below gears fireworks. Then the Wizard of Waterdeep at Sorcerer's Sundries. Looks like a lot of we have quests everywhere actually. Oh, these are the murder targets from the ball contract that we picked up. We have to kill citizens in order to be invited to Ball's domain. The Temple of Baal, and if you're doing an evil playthrough, you would probably kill all those targets. We're clearly not going to do that. Okay, this is the Counting House. So this is the bank. I guess I got the Counting House wrong earlier. Looks like we can go right in. Check it out. Head clerk, med honey. Mead honey. Welcome to the counting house. I'm head clerk, mead honey. How may the fellowship of financiers serve you? A relaxed tone and easy smile, but the halfling's shifting gaze gives it away. Something has him rattled. You smile, but your body language says otherwise. Is everything all right? 15. We can do it. Oh, uh, fine. Fine. A rather large and heavily armed fellow has taken the head banker Glitterbeard below. 
He's an unusual sort of customer, but the head banker said he'd handle it, so it's fine. I'm sure we're just fine. Tell me more about this large fellow. Honestly, that about describes him. Over a certain size, well, you'll begin to look the same. My eyesight, you see. The head banker did seem to expect him, but he seemed frightened, too. Sounds like a robbery to me. Our books stretch back to near the city's founding. No robbery has ever been recorded. They also make no mention of Glitterbeard's stranger guests, but I'm sure that's a separate matter entirely. Let me help. I'll go and check out on your headmaster. Probably a good idea to see what's going on at the city's bank. Holy crap. That would be most unusual. But then so is our visitor. <laughs> that he is. But don't worry. We can handle him. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. Okay. Like we're going down into the vault. We picked up a press. Oh, excuse me. We picked up a quest. Stop the Baldur's Mouth Gazette printing slander. Head Clerk Meadhoney revealed that a stone lord matching Minsk's description was taken down into the vaults by the head banker a short time ago. Matching Minsk's description? I didn't catch that. Talk to Jahira. Yes. Have you thought any more about how we might find Minsk? I have. And while I do not love my conclusion, that does nothing to change it. The Harpers are the city's best information network. With them out of action, we shall have to fall back on second best. Nine fingers keen. A name known and feared throughout the city's underworld. A mysterious keen runs the guild, which in turn runs every criminal enterprise in the city. I didn't think a harper would be friends with a petty crime lord. Friend is not the word I'd use. Nor is petty if you've a mind to keep your tongue. Oh damn, Jigger, sorry. But both sorry. our operations step outside the law when needful. She just likes it better there. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall. Huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. I do want to meet Nine Fingers Keen. Jahira doesn't seem to know about Minsk being here. Jahira wants to speak to Nine Fingers Keen, the leader of the criminal guild. She believes the guildmaster might have a lead on how to find her old friend Minsk, but we have the quest updated further than that. And Minsk might be down in the vaults. Okay, all right. Let's go check out the vaults. A count holders only from here. Vault pass? Here it is. Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. Oops, I clicked on Jahira. I always do that. Thinking we might want to call in Cash Guard Artillerist Smathers. Is 
to talk to her real fast. Mind your manners down here, sir. Titles don't mean much once you're in the vault. Okay. Need to find a way forward. Maybe I will. Just need to see your vault pass, please. Here you are. What can I expect below? No idea. Our posters out here. Besides his chores and swords, Ed Banker Glitterbeard doesn't like us asking what goes on below. For security, I expect. <laughs> like her accent. Here you Box are. in order. Blessed day to you. Oh, wow. So if we didn't actually get a pass down here and we had, had to sneak into here, we would be dealing with all those traps. Yeah, I'm going to call in an animal companion now that we're down here. I don't have any undead to call in. I actually may respec Gale out of necromancy. Because like now that we're in Act 3, if we have zombies running around with us, it's gonna be scaring everybody away. It sucks that the animal companions do that, because I think that's a bit of a bug. It shouldn't happen with, with some of the animal forms. It'd be fine. Like the two main classes that I chose. <laughs> Don't work that well in this game right now. I mean, they work well, they just... It's annoying having everybody run from you. Oh, look at this. Please refrain from entering until a staff member has opened the way for you. Okay. Well, it looks like you can steal from all of these vaults. I don't think I'm in the business of stealing just yet. What to do? As we don't know whose vaults those are. For current door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. Highest security clearance only. Like we have a little puzzle slash code thing here. Let's send our bear down. Looks like it could be a trap. Okay. Wonder if I can... Maybe we can just click on it. Because we were allowed down here. We can lockpick it? Oh my god, look at the difficulty class. <laughs> we can still get it. We just need a 20. Oh, it won't even let me roll it for some reason. I have a f this. Hopefully the room doesn't blow up right now. Oh man. Okay. That's good. 99 difficulty class. Alright, so I think we gotta maybe go to the... I don't know how... I doubt that a code would be hidden you know, on the walls or something like that. That wouldn't make sense for bank security. We might have to go to the headmaster's office. For the direct notice of the cleaning staff. No more water is to be used to clean the floor in front of the main vault. Use prestidigitate tank. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Prestidigitate spread. Prestidigitation. Prestid. Prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. If you must clean there, we can't afford any more lighting mishaps with wet pressure plates. There will be no more warnings, only dismissals. Lightning mishaps with wet pressure plates. Prestidigitation. I'm having a really hard time saying that word.
Do not approach any vault but your own. Make sure the number before attempting to open. Do not ask a cash guard for help with locks, doors, or carrying valuables. No tipping. Wet floor. Unsafe to use devices powered by bottled lightning. I'm tempted to throw some water down here to see what happens. <gasps> Oh, we gotta go find the headmaster's office. Let me read that note again. Hold on. I mean, there's a reason why these notes are in the room. No more water is to be used to clean the floor in front of the main vault. Okay. Lightning mishaps with wet pressure plates. Alright, let's try something. as well not waste a high level spell slot right i don't think i have any lightning cantrips shocking grasp but that might be a little bit <laughs> i don't know if i'd recommend using shocking grasp because it's a melee spell you know what i'm saying okay shadow heart you might want to back up Everybody might want to back up. Come here, Mr. Bear. Whoa! That is so cool. Like we short-circuited it. Okay, well, we don't have to go to the headmaster's office now. Probably hit F5. And actually, let me make sure I have the right spells prepared right now. We have Conjure Elemental, Blight, Banishment. Get rid of Witch Bolt. I don't typically use it. Knock, Misty Step pick up haste. Blink and counterspell and fireball. Hmm. Definitely have too many high level spells right now prepared to where I can't use them all, but... Okay, so I'm gonna unprepare... We'll unprepare blink. And I'm gonna pick up ice knife. Wherever we go, and for Jahira, I think we're looking something. pretty good here. I do want to try out Insect Plague. I'm going to grab Insect Plague. In case we get into combat here. Grasping Vine. Some of the giant vine capable of dragging creatures towards itself. And the woodland creature stays until a long rest, so we'll call her in. And then for Shadowheart, we have Flame Strike, Contagion. Yeah, I think I'm good with Shadowheart right now. As long as Spirit Guardians is prepared. Alright, let's go check this out. We might be seeing Minsk. For the first time in a video game in a long, long time. I have to turn off that passive. Uh oh. Hush your fussing. Nine fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. 
Tall tales and big names, lad. <sighs> Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power, I. But not half so much as we do. That's the first Drist reference. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. <laughs> Muridan's cracked clay. Here we go. Let's go. no gold in here <sighs> if there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath <sighs> it is those who are tricksome with the truth and turnips but you are no turnip let that be of comfort in your final moments. <laughs> Meet Minsk. He still seems very much himself to me. So those of you who are unaware, this is Minsk, another very, very important companion from the original Baldur's Gate games, a good companion. And a lot of people do run their party with Jahira and Minsk. And he also has a miniature giant space hamster named Boo, which doesn't seem to be here. Boo doesn't seem to be here right now, so it'll be interesting to see what Minsk says. Okay, let's, um... Let's let Jahira reveal herself. You... Stone Lord. Ha! Huh. Better to call yourself Stonehead! Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are. Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. Then Oren? The Stone Lord sees through your lies, shapeshifter. Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. What the heck? Nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists, then find out where they are nesting. Oh wow! And Minsk is also known to not be the most intelligent character ever, <laughs> but he is a true hero. Now we got ourselves a combat encounter. We're all surprised right now? Oh no, okay. Only the bankers are surprised. We got a little update on that quest. We saw Minsk rob the vault beneath the counting house, led by a doppelganger wearing Jahira's face. He escaped Nine Fingers' trap and teleported away. We should search the vault for clues on where he went. In 
Is it ever going to be my turn? There we go. All right, so let's start off with two. These are Reapers of Ball. Wow. Nearby hostile creatures become vulnerable to piercing damage. All right, let's start off with Shadow, and I'm just going to pop a Spirit Guardians right now. And I'm going to... Oh, she's like trapped in here right now. Move her right here. Some damage on these guys. And then for Gale, we're going to do Conjure Elemental. Let's do a... Let's try out the Fire Elemental this time. Got to take care of these guys that are in our face first. And also, maybe even Mage Hands. Sure, we can push these enemies around. Okay. Probably hit F5. Multi-attack, Erupting Cinder. Stoke a giant cinder ball and lob it, bursting in wide explosion, creating a fiery surface. That's pretty cool. We'll do multi-attack. <laughs> Damn, we're missing everything against these assassins. All right, Jahira. Oh, man. I wish I did a short rest before I came in here. I don't have any wild shape charges. Dang, that's rough. That is rough. All right, let's do... Moonbeam. Hope that I don't lose concentration. Kind of stuck in here right now. All right, then we got Mage Hands. Mr. Bear. Now I should have attacked him because he's prone, but I need to help out Jahira here. I should have used Goading Roar, but whatever. Awesome. Perfect. Nice. Oh man, it was delayed. The woodland being got shoved off the ledge. Death's head of ball. Malice. I know that name. Seems like combat's a little bit, a little bit buggy right now. Oh man, Gl Glitterbeard just died. The owner of the bank. I don't think I really care. Okay, so now let's see who do we want to attack. Got five assassins left. We're in pretty good positioning up here. I'm thinking we might. Wow, look at that cloud of daggers right there. That is insane. I'm thinking we might do. Not enough movement. Oh, I can get that. Oh, come on. Really? You can't shoot that from up here, gal? Seriously? Alright, we're gonna do haste. 
And I'm going to do it on Wolf. And then we're going to start moving this way. Oh, I didn't realize it was an assassin right there. It's a massive damage right there. We have elemental warp. Oh, Glitterbeard? Yeah, he's dead right now. Pretty cool nature builds you can do in this game. Man, you know what I just did? I ran through my own moonbeam and I canceled my concentration on it. Classic. Really want to see Insect Plague, but... It also hits Friendlies, I believe. You know what? Let's do it. It's only going to hit my summoned Bay Beans here. Let's see what this looks like, if I can actually get it off. There we go. Nice. That would be terrifying. Always the same old song. Whoa, what are you doing, Mage Hand? Mage Hand is bugged out. There we go. What if we could jump the bear down? Minus nine HP. I think it's worth it. Something's a little bit buggy with combat right now. Always do that by accident. Freaking spiritual weapon gets in the way of everything. Oh, this creature's got Sanctuary active. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if the wood bode's even affected. Yeah, it looks like it is affected by Insect Plague. Slow on five targets. Yeah, we're gonna counter spell that, absolutely. Alright, Mr. Gale. Let's see what we can do with you. We have an invisible target somewhere in here. I bet you I could probably get that target to show itself. If I cast Cloud of Daggers, level two. I think it's probably still in this area. I see a circle right there. There we go, perfect. We'll just hold our ground right here. See if we can get close enough right here. Nice. We got seven HP left. Still has Sanctuary active. Oh, 
Can't do nothing. Okay, well, with Sanctuary, you can still do AoE spells, so let's do a... Either a Moonbeam or a Call Lightning. Call Lightning might actually finish this character off, so we'll do that. See ya. right after my caster. think here what we want to do now we're gonna do inflict wounds 40 HP let's do an inflict wounds level damn I could one shot this character with inflict wounds level four yeah let's try it why not It'd be fun 28 damage okay not bad not bad at all Awesome. Okay, we only got a few left. Got to do this to where my companions can get down and still be able to attack this creature. So we'll put it right here. I love the particle effects for that one. And then Mr. Gale. Let's have you drop a magic missile. Torment. Hopefully we can actually take advantage of... Oh no, I lost concentration on haste. Oh yeah, haste, I keep getting it mixed up. In early access I used haste so much as a potion. Cast it as a spell, it requires concentration. So I gotta be careful when I'm using haste, but also like clouded daggers. Not used to that yet. Nice. Got both targets with a taunt. Alright, Mr. Ranger. Go kick some ass now. Ranger from the Misty Forest to the north. See ya. Let's hit F5 again. So we should probably take care of the guy that's back here. I don't want Gale to get assassinated, so... Okay, let's first do this. Perfect. 
Perfect. Then let's move Gale behind Please, my teammates. And I think we can just start dashing over to where that other assassin is. Actually, we have all these extra abilities. Like shadow teleportation. To get us right up there. And I have Shield of Faith, too. Doesn't cost a spell slot. It still uses concentration, though. Try something over here. Nope, didn't hit him. Just skip the bear's turn. We don't need the bear for this. to try. Okay, the assassin is in Jahira's face right now. Now we gotta go back the other way. I got just the spell for this assassin. Oh, this would be hilarious. I could get a fireball off right here. Don't know if I can without hitting Jahira. Trying my hardest. Well, we could Misty Step. You know what? You only live once. This will be quite entertaining. Aha! Alright, Jahira. Let's finish this guy off with a melee attack with our scimitars. Awesome. Well, that was pretty interesting and cool. Didn't expect to be meeting Minsk today. It looks like we have our work cut out with Minsk. Get him to come around. Okay, let's do some looting down here. And we gotta look for clues. Murderous cut. Counting house vault nine key. Stone Lord Strike Team, update on the Counting House operation. We've been tipped off to expect an ambush once we reach the vault, but the guild underestimates us, as usual. If we maintain coordination, we should be able to shrug it off without casualties. Let the Stone Lord take the lead. If you deal efficiently with the cash guards, there may be time to gather additional funds before we withdraw. Bring everything, the cistern and the sewers. A cultist in the counting house carried a note mentioning some hideout in the cistern. We should head down to the sewers to search for Minsk. We have so much to do in the city. These footprints started in the sewers. That's Vault 9 right there? Yeah, it is. I feel like now that we're on the Mint's quest, we might as well finish this one through, and then we can figure out our plan for the city itself. We still have that coronation ceremony going on that I'm hesitant to go to, but I want to go to at the same time, because I feel like it's a pretty big story moment for Will and, and uh, Karlak. 
All right, we found a trail of muddy footprints in the vault. They reek of the sewer. That's where we should go next to find Minsk. Elegant studded leather. 14 AC, it's light armor. Gain a plus two bonus to initiative rolls. And you also get the shield level one abjuration spell, which is a great spell in this game. Let's put this on Gale to see what it looks like. It boosts his AC by one because of the light armor. We also get shield. I wonder if shield is actually, if it's only a one-time use. I'm assuming that it is. Recharges on a short rest. So you get one use of shield. I've been sticking with Gale with the robes because I'm not really a huge fan of Gale being able to wear light armor. That was a change with the full game as humans now have the light armor proficiency. Let's stick with the Moon Devotion robes, which is actually AC 17 when I use Mage Armor. And I get that extra 1 to 4 Radiant damage on saving throws. And if I can remember, I need to start using Lunar Ball Work, which will allow me to cast Mage Armor without a spell slot. So we'll stick with that for now. Talk to the guard right here. Still catching my breath. Okay. The path less traveled. So we gotta go to the sewers. I don't know if there's a way to get there from here. I don't think there is, because Orin teleported in here. Don't see any cracked walls or anything. But this might actually be a nice natural stopping point mid-episode. So I'll catch you all in a few. Welcome back. Yes, why not? Wonder if we can use Speak with the Dead on Glitterbeard here. This is the proprietor of the bank, the owner of the bank. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What did you do here? Served the bank. Served nine fingers. What was all that with the mimic? Trap for Stone Lord. What can you tell me about the Stone Lord? Big bastard. Smelled like shite. Nice. And what did the cult want with all that gold? Soldiers for the absolute. Who are you? Rayketh. Glitterbeard. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. The mob run bank. Nine fingers keen has control over it. Okay. A ton of vaults in here, but... I wonder if the knock spell works on these ones. Ready for you. Immediately. It doesn't. I don't know if I'm fully comfortable with stealing. Oh, can we just speak with the dead on the ball? Fiona? Let's try that. Now oh, it's showing red. Use it on this guy. The cool. Nothing to say, okay. Must be on my way. I don't know if I'm fully comfortable with just robbing all these vaults right now. Even though it's a mob run bank. Loading dock chest key. These are still vaults of citizens of Baldur's Gate, so... We can probably teleport out of here. And then take a long rest, and it'll be interesting to see what happens when we take a long rest within the city. I can actually do it down here. Now, 
I shall cleave the truth from you like flesh from a doer. Help me! She's gone mad! What the heck is going on here? Another normal evening in camp. What in the hells is going on here, Lazel? This is not the whelp who's been following us. I saw her. She slipped into camp in the form of a woman and shifted into this abomination. She tried to silence me and hide her deception. I didn't do anything! Um... Do you have any proof, Lazel? Is my word not enough? Oh God! Say your farewells, Nivukrim. Lazel is saying that this is Orin, maybe. But how do we know for sure? There actually was some Larian marketing too, where they showed Lazel actually shape change into Orin. Because of that prior knowledge of whatever trailer that was, I am hesitant to trust Lazel at the moment. But who knows what my game is going to be like. Man, I don't have any, you know, bonuses for intimidation or persuasion. Okay, well, we're going to try it. Let her go, Lazel. God. 25 DC. Alright, we have a 5% chance. You may lack resolve, but I do not. Oh my god. Nope, that wasn't Orin. I don't think. Blood and tears taste so sweet together. Ambrosia fit for Baal himself. Oh, crap. Look at it, crawling and sniffing and rooting around in the filth. Is it my nether stone you seek, little piggy? You keep such silly little lambs in your flock, so easily slaughtered. Not like your green gourd friend. She loves the taste of blood too much. What a brutal, brutal antagonist. What have you done with Lazel? Nothing. No, not a thing. <laughs> Still gasping and gagging on the foul airs of Baal's temple. <laughs> I will not slice. Her kind die too easily. The murder lord demands a better offering. Something new, sticky, sweet, and delicious. He wants you. The murder lord wants me. Why? Kethrick's killer turned the corpse lover to carrion when you took his stone. Oh, but he was a dull kill. No blood to spill, no guts to rip. A desiccated husk, all dust and hollow. You must be sharpened before you set your edge against my skin. <laughs> I'm sharp enough already. I'll show you right now. No, no. Not here. Not now. The tyrant must fall first. I had an arrangement with Lord Gortash. But he winches and wails over the crown, wanting to command it alone. Oh, how I long to slit his poxy smile from ear to ear. But I can't touch him. He bound my blade when we first conspired. Gortash didn't want me at first. Didn't trust me. 
Got me to wag my tongue, swear an oath never to hang him from the hooks. Drip drain him into father's open jaws. You must kill the tyrant. Take the Netherstone from his corpse and bring it to my temple. There we slice and shred each other. The survivor claims the stones. What's left of the other is balls. Agree, and I will bring my assassins to heal. They watch you always, longing to spray the crimson from your veins. Refuse me, and you'll learn what happens to those who defy Baal's doctrine. So will your friend. Oren demands a fight to the death. The prize for the victor, the Nether Stones, and the chance to control the crown alone. Accept and you must kill Gortash. Refuse, and your companion's life may be forfeit, as might your own. Orin's assassins will hunt you like prey for slaughter. The decisions in this game. Orin wants to work with us. I mean, I just don't trust Orin, no matter what. She is not to be trusted. And she is like pure evil. So agreeing with her and assuming that she's going to keep Lazelle alive, I don't know. So you're stabbing your ally in the back, or rather asking me to? Allies? <laughs> oh no, we had a balance. The chosen three. <laughs> but it tumbled when you turned the Bone Lord to ash. Now, Gortash tries to gouge me from the city. That festering inadequate thinks me a flesher, butchering and cleaving only to whip the herd towards his tin men's oppression. You must kill. Gore him like a pig prepped for the spit. Only then will you be sweet and sharp, ready for the murder lord's purpose. Sounds like you can't defeat Gortash without me. You need me. Need? No, no, no. I do not need. You are made of nothing. Meaningless flesh and bone. I do not need. I offer. Ball's age approaches, and you could be there to see it. An idol of flesh, made to welcome his bleeding dog. There is time for you yet. Time to save. Do not underestimate his steel watch. Seek their cradle in the lower city and skewer their skull meat. Make them rust and blood. Then you can gore the lordling again and again and again. But listen. Listen close, bone killer. Step in my domain while the tyrant still sucks air, and I will carve your failure into your pretty plaything's skull. <laughs> Bring me his stone, and I will set the bait free. <laughs> Only then can you and I make exquisite butchery. The victor will set the world to slaughter. <laughs> that is Baal's offer. He will not make another. Huh? Holy crap. Well, that was unexpected. Orin has kidnapped one of our number. We must find the Lash of Ball and free our companion. 
Well, you speak with Dead on Yenna first. That was that was quite sad. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who can I inform of your death? And you. Where are you from? What can I do to honor your memory? <laughs> Why did this happen? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. What did you want to be when you grew up, Yenna? The spells pop. And what a brutal moment right there. It shows you how evil Orin actually is. Lazel was a formidable addition to our party. Our odds without her are diminished. We should consider Orin's terms carefully, however distasteful we may find them. Hmm. Okay. Didn't expect that out of Gale. You almost pity Orin taking Lazel like that. Give her half a chance, and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. Okay. Look at this camp, too, by the way. Like we're just camping out on the lower docks. The great Orin the Red tugs your sleeve, sulking for attention. She might come to regret it yet. Lizelle will not break easily. But Orin will only enjoy her work the more for that if we give her the time. All right, let's have a chat with Karlak. I want to bring Karlak and Will into my group, but I think for the Mint's quest, if that's what I'm going to push on with, I want to have Jahira. The bloody shapeshifting freak! No one takes my Gith Yankee and gets away with it! <laughs> nice. Then there's no Lazel to chat with, of course. Talk with Shadowhearts. Oh, this is such a cool camp. I love it. We can't just let Orin take one of our own. Even if it's Lazel. We have to rescue her. Or kill Gortash in order to win her freedom. Don't trust Orin to actually give Lazel. Damn it all. We've got to get Lazel back. If that means killing Gortash, nothing would give me greater pleasure. But we've got to tread carefully. I won't risk my father's life to take Gortash's. All right, we will fast travel out to the lower city central wall. Try not to get overwhelmed with all the quests that we currently have. So let's see if we can continue on with the sewers here. Stars Palace, murder targets. The Wizard of Waterdeep. And there's the High Harper quest. Search the sewers for Minsk. So let's go over there first. See if we can get into the sewers from over there. Right near Bloom Ridge Park. And then after that, maybe we'll come to Sorcerer's Sundries. Or we'll call in Will and Karlak. Probably better just to stick with one quest instead of hopping around to a million at one time. Yeah, apparently I don't know where I'm going. There's Bloom Ridge Park. Is that blood? No, never mind. A very juicy lead. Yeah, the book was a lot more. Hi. And you smell like that place down the dock. Hey 
expect unceasing harassment by scum outside the blushing mermaid. Kind of hard to navigate because every time I click on the ground, I click on an item or a citizen. Okay, so that... Okay. That entire building is the Blushing Mermaid. Alright, but we're going up here. According to the quest marker. Wish we could look up a little bit in the third person view. That would be nice. And we have a nice tower of Baldur in. Oh man, the citizens are running from me because I didn't I didn't manipulate the newspaper and I took a long rest so I think everybody in the city now has a bad view of myself and my party. And here we go, we have a manhole right here. Larian did an incredible job on the city. I'm just like Amazed at how big it is. Like every door is pretty much you can go inside each building. Wizard Alright, we gotta do some buffs real fast. We're gonna use gales. Oh man, we're real close. Holy crap. Whoa, guys. Oh man. Okay, thank god we didn't end up in combat right there. Wow, we got oozes down here. Mephits. This is about to be crazy. Long strider, and then let's also do aid. I wonder how long Feather Fall lasts as a ritual spell. Let me try real fast. Yeah, it only lasts for one minute, so. We'll just keep it unprepared, and if we need it, we can prepare it. I mean, in combat, sometimes you do actually need it, but that's fine. You know what I'm going to try to do this time? I'm going to try to use the Sunbeam spell from the Mace of Lathander that I have on Gale right now. I simply have it on him just for the Sunbeam spell. I've only used it once, and it's super powerful. Okay, well, here we go. Assuming we can probably just attack. Oh crap. These guys are showing as yellow. These are not hostile. We got a rat over there. A cranium rat. Ooh. Okay. Well, let me send. Let's send my bear up. See what happens. Whatever it's called, it's impressive. And it tastes great. I keep forgetting you can't talk with your animal companion to the animals. Seems like these guys are just not going to go into combat with me, so that's good. Okay. What's this, cousin? 
Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Draconic Sorcerer. Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. You're try me, buddy. Haven't got the slightest idea who or what you're talking about. Of course you don't. Sarin, Bereki, and I made our coin by going unnoticed. The finest thieves in the city. Until we messed with Gortash and he sent the cult after us. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot. Until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us. Said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. <laughs> you cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness, or some fuel for the fire. See if we can get Shadowheart a little bit closer. Okay. Let's try to persuade this guy. Doesn't mean he could help us out a little bit. I'm not a cultist, and I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia turned you against one another. 18 DC. There we go. We got guidance, though. Here, holy crap. Oh, that just brings me silly me. I thought I was gonna be like in some rafters in the sewer or something. Alright. See what we can do here. Hold on. Guys up here with his grease elementals. I mean I know exactly what I want to do here. He has fire resistance. But the other ones have fire resistance, but vulnerability, so double damage. Oh, my bear. Yeah, my bear's in battle right now. Okay, let's take our first turn here. I think I actually want. I'm so curious. If I use a fire spell, this entire place might actually blow up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back Wolf up. Okay. I think it was worth it, kind of. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go to Gale. I can sneak Gale around to get like a fireball in here or something. That would be phenomenal. It's too far. I don't know how I'm going to get him over there, though. Unless I come all the way in here, but then I'm going to aggro some more enemies, I think. I actually did a lot of damage. It's a little bit to my ranger. My ranger is fire resistant. 
Okay, let's take Jahira. I think we should probably take care of the guy back here. Oh, wow. I didn't see a cone right there. Man, if I could just get a spell up there, that would be great. Don't see any high ground to get Gale on. All right, well, we're just going to play it from down here then. Maybe they'll all move this way, so we'll take a shot at this guy right here. Okay, I like it. Then we'll take out this one first. Go ahead and do... The problem is, if I take damage in the fire surface, I think I'm going to be doing concentration saving throws, or constitution saving throws. I really hope that all these guys come towards me, because if they do, I can do a Guardian of Faith, too. We'll do that. And then I'm actually going to create water. And then we're going to maybe use a little bit of a choke point here. Oh, they're just going to fly over. Not sure if they're going to jump over that or not. Alright, Mr. Bear, I need you to come back. You gotta be kidding Allow me. me to demonstrate. This is the easy part. Gotta think for a second. Sometimes you gotta just sit and think. When I'm filming, I'm a little bit more hesitant to sit here and just think about things. I don't know if I want to use a concentration spell right now. Let's do it. Oh, he's vault. Okay, wow. Resistant to lightning damage. Do I have any flame spells? I really don't. Not prepared, at least, right now. Just take a shot. And then we'll back up a little bit. I'm gonna wild shape here shortly. Hey, these guys are all coming down. That's not what I was... That's not good. I was hoping they would all take the bridge. Well, this guy's taking the bridge. That's good. We just need one good fireball and it would take care of, like, all these guys. Okay, and this might be our fireball moment here. Get up, wolf! Wake up, buddy. Ah. Now they're magma methods. Damn. Alright, let's see. A few more turns until it's Gale's turn. Let's just kill this guy right out right now with our fire sword. Uh. 
Really, I didn't get the kill. Could have used Hunter's Mark. This is going to be a hell of a fireball, I'm telling you that right now. Wish I was playing a light cleric. Alright, we're going to start off with mirror image. And we're going to move to the door. And next cast will be spirit guardians. Critical hit. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. See if I can get as many targets as possible. I think I have to cast it like right there. Yep, that might be perfect. You only live once. Wow, that was epic. Let's see if I have any. Nope, I don't. I had a potion of speed. I could have cast two fireballs right there if I used haste at the start of the encounter. That's okay. We're doing pretty good. Back him up. Ah! Teamwork makes the dream work. And actually, I think I don't want these guys to come to here. I think I want them to stay on the bridge, so I'm going to move the bear up. Let's go ahead and do a... Are all these guys... Nope, nothing with lightning. Nothing with lightning. Okay. Not bad. Now we're going to wild shape. Does that completely take away? Interesting. When you wild shape, it completely takes away the call lightning. I'm still concentrating on it. But it doesn't show it up. We'll, we'll take we'll take note of that next turn. We'll see if I can cast it again. I gotta get into the habit of doing good concentration spells and then wild shaping and being able to keep those concentration spells going. Get up there, spiritual weapon. And we activated the entire place. Yeah, this guy can turn these guys into magma methods from mud. He's the master of the methods. I don't want to go up too far. Survival is all but I can go into the fire. I am Wasteland Wanderer Fire. We'll see if we can kill this guy. Now these guys are probably going to be resistant to fire. Oh, nullified. Wow. See ya. And we can also come over here. Just got to make sure I stay far enough back to where I can still get off a nice fireball. Sweet. Barely taking any damage.
Guy's got 68 HP. Got to press on. Poison everywhere down here. Might be time to go after this guy. A little bit nervous about bringing Gale all the way over there, though. I can't even make it. Okay, we got greased methods down here. 14, 14, and one magma methods. The fireball wouldn't do any damage against that one. Not even worth it. We got a couple slime balls coming over here, too. I like that. I like that a lot. And we're gonna have... Oh, yeah. Tahira. We're gonna have you rush the boss if you're able to make it over there. Doesn't look like we can. We can jump right over here. <laughs> Guy's probably shitting his pants right now. Now that an owl bear has rushed him. God, are you serious? We might, we're gonna have to call in a elemental here. That is crazy. We gotta kill this one guy as fast as we can. So the Guardian of Faith. He's not attacking anybody. I don't want to lose my concentration in here. I seriously think it might be worth this. Wolf needs a little bit of a heal, but healing words just not enough, and I don't have an action to throw a potion. I'll take it. It's gonna move up just a little bit. A little bit more. Hey, there we go. Perfect. Awesome. He only has one HP. Gale's in his own battle over here. Seriously, bear? 
there we go. Take care of him, and then we're going to do an elemental on the next turn. I think an elemental will be great. Maybe even summon it over here. I think we have to kill him as fast as possible. This is going to be an opportunity attack on me. You know what? I'm okay with it. Knock this guy down. There we go. I love the combat music. What are you gonna do, big guy? Oh my god! This guy is a lot more powerful than I thought. Heat metal on wolf. Man, I don't know if I want to counterspell that. We're going to, because I'm gonna be disarmed. See what we can do here. Let's finish off the Grease Elemental. Okay, very nice. So much fire around here. Can jump Shadowheart over here. That'll be great. I think I'm going to send Shadow to help up here on the top. I think it's worth it. Mr. Jahira is in need of help right now. Actually, we could do create water, too. Let's do it. I don't think this guy's going to have any lightning spells. Maybe he does. Yeah, Conjure Water Elemental is probably a really good play here. I should have done that earlier. We have all these new spells I'm just not that familiar with. I guess my, um, my Guardian of Faith is not reaching the Lava Elemental, the radius of the circle. Okay, so here we go. Let's Conjure Elemental. We're going to do Water. I'm going to put that son of a gun right here. If I can. We'll get Gal some cover from that oh. method. Oh, I didn't notice that. Is a long combat encounter. I think I'm gonna be fine though. <laughs> I 
<laughs> nice. I love the sound effects of the water elemental. Alright, Wolf. Looks like we lost our hunter's mark. There we go. Come up here. Let's see what we can do to this guy. We need to take him out as fast as possible. Guiding Bolt, level 5. 19 damage. Not that much. We're wrapping it up now. Hit F5. It's flying. Wow, casting Fireball on Shadowheart. Not today, my friend. Sucks to get counterspelled <laughs> with a Fireball. The worst feeling in the world. I just can't hold concentration when I'm fighting this creature. There we go. Oh, you can't get across this. I'm blocked in right now. All right, buddy. Hate to tell you, but I think you are now dead. The stupid grease on me right now. You gotta be kidding me. Almost killed it in one strike. I don't think we gotta do anything crazy here. I think we have it now. I'm gonna have to rest probably after this fight. Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting the slime guy is right there. And we won. Wasn't a, a fight that I expected. But it was a fun one. It's kind of fun. I don't really like oozes and methods. Okay. Capture orders. The wizard is a lunatic who already murdered one of his close companions out of sheer paranoia. Likely none would believe his tale of the tadpoles, no matter what truth we saw. But end him all the same. Orin will brook no failure. We are so close. And even so, a lost soul will make a fine offering to our lord. Quarterstaff plus two. 
That might be the first plus two weapon that I've seen. And you get 1d4 necrotic damage. Cindermoth Cloak. A creature that damages the wearer within seven feet receives burning. I think that fits perfectly. I like that a lot, especially with my ranger. I like the color too, wow. Saren Skeleton. Insert item. We check the boss guy again. Skeleton doesn't have a head. Can I use Speak with the Dead on it? Nope. Not sure. Let's press on. Oh, we have some oozes right there. No idea how big these sewers are going to be. Oh, you didn't get that off, Gal? Seriously? What happened? I lost my action. I never got the firebolt off. Water Elemental has 114 HP. That's crazy. Okay, thank God it wasn't in another room of those. through the door. Don't see anyone in here. Irresistible dance. Painted key. What's next, I wonder? If we can make some arcane cultivation potions. Here are healing potions. Oh, did you look at that? I make a ton of potions of speed. I didn't even realize I had the ingredients for that. 
It's going to be super useful. Arcane cultivation. We're running pretty low on spell slots right now. I don't want to get caught off guard. I should take a long rest here, but I'm running a little bit low on camp supplies at the moment. We'll drink one of those, and we'll drink one of those. Nice. That's the room we just came from. Water looks tainted. Better to avoid it. The abandoned cistern. Cultist in the counting house carried a note mentioning some hideout in the cistern. We should head down to the sewers to search for Minsk. Okay. At least we know we're getting closer to Minsk. Got some people up here. Aura of murder. Okay. I don't think they're friendly. They look like ball cultists. They're showing yellow, though. I think we can probably just attack them. I'm missing out on a cutscene. Well, that's okay. I think it's going to turn into combat either way. <laughs> yeah, they don't look too friendly. Barnes. What kind of name is that? Let's move everybody else in, too. Hopefully this doesn't blow my cover. Sort of fight. And now... Nice. Send in Wolf Solo, holy crap. Okay, so before I hit next turn, let's go back to my bear. And everybody else too, actually. Everybody hiding? My water elemental hiding right now? <laughs> oh crap! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was close. Looks like Gal can't get up. I think I can sneak an owl bear up here too. That'd be pretty funny.
That is one sneaky owl bear, right? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it didn't work. What's there shall be mine. Let's polymorph one of these characters. 75% chance on Oh no, that was my own character. That would have been bad. 75% chance on Barnes. Turn him into a sheep. Okay, here we go. Oh, it looks like the water elemental made it over. Nice. And Gale is also in combat right now, too. What is this unstoppable? Reduce the next damage taken by the entity to one and consume one charge of unstoppable. Unstoppable creatures cannot be moved by any external forces. Wow. Okay, in that case, let's use a cantrip. Critical hit, one damage. What was that? No more unstoppable. Oh man, conjure murder crows? What the hell? Better kill her fast. Oh my god, 54 damage. And the crows are still up though? That sucks. I thought they would have disappeared. Oh no. Nice. We whacked that crow. My bear is still hidden back here. That is inc that is crazy. There's one sneaky bear. All right. So now let's kill. Let's see. Polymorph will stay for four turns. It is concentration. Okay, so I guess we can work on the crows for a little bit now. Whose turn is it? Owlbear's turn? Nice. Oh man, I'm so tempted to just swing at that sheep. Seriously? Seriously? I'm gonna leave the spiritual weapon up there. Things are everywhere. Probably hit F5. Never a bad idea, right?
will help out my bear a little bit. 14 damage, okay. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Just the thought of an owl bear belly flopping on top of two crows is kind of funny. I think we can start swinging at this guy now. It's time. Cannot harm sanctuary. Oh, does does the creature have sanctuary? Or does polymorph cause sanctuary? Interesting. Polymorph is so different in BG3. If the sheep's hit points drop to zero, the target reverts to its original form. Don't know where the sanctuary comes from. Can't wait to get extra attack. I'm assuming I'll get it with my animal companions at some point. Oh, we can still do, though. <laughs> hey, we still works again. We're going to definitely have to rest after this, so what the heck? Let's do it. Okay, now he's back. Nice. Oh, I can't reach from right here. Oh, still got Sanctuary active. Not anymore. Two of my companions have leveled up. They can now reach level 10, but it looks like Jahira and Wolf still need a little bit more XP. I'm going to hold off on leveling up until all four meet the requirement. Then I can create one save point and then reference it when I'm making videos in the future. It's been a long day. Better stop to rest soon. Oh, I know, Shadowheart. I know. Nice, hand crossbow. What the heck do we got going on up here? Sluice gate. I've got a long road ahead. That might be worth a look. You probably want to open the sluice gate. You can get into the cistern and muck it out. To do that, you need to manipulate the valves to get the water level and heat level to their optimum levels at the same time. Don't get scalded. Like we got ourselves a little puzzle mini game here. Let's go ahead and take a long rest. Hopefully I have enough camp supplies. 
You don't have enough camp supplies. We can do a partial rest. I wonder if all of this resting is going to accelerate the coronation of Gortash. Or if that event will just pause until I go to it. The first time I haven't had camp supplies in a while. Really haven't had to worry about it too much on balance. We'll take a partial rest. Someone in camp wishes to speak with you. Who might that be? Light on my feet. Scratch wants to speak with me, okay. You always give Scratch the time of the day. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag. Keeps bringing me things. I don't know. It's a All lobby? I know is I thought of you when I saw it. I'll give him another pet. Good boy. Okay. What if that's what I needed to be able to take a full rest? I do have enough now. Oh, interesting. Hold on. Hold on. I have plenty. There we go. You sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me! Peace. Brother, we're Vampire here to spawn. take you home. The master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. What does Kazador want with him? The right. The master needs him. He must attend. <laughs> Why should we let Kazador have all the fun? After all he's done to us. Vengeance will taste sweet paired with ascension. <laughs> you think he's ever kept a promise? He will never let us be free. You will know that. After all these centuries of torment, I know what you all want. More than power. More than to walk in the sun. You want to see him dead. This persuasion check is quite interesting. Starion has the strength to defeat Kazador. We should stand together. I feel like it's going to be a pretty tough DC. 18 with no bonuses. Let's use one inspiration point. Ten percent chance. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Stand with the runt of the kennel, the one who always whimpered while he got beat. Save us. That lick spitz only ever wanted to save himself. The rest of us be damned. You were always weak, brother. We don't follow weak. only chance to be free to end centuries of slavery you will not ruin it astorian oh wow we're just getting into battle right away holy cow this guy's got some hp too i don't have my spell slots yet damn Shadow's up here. Why didn't I get my guidance? 
Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, the resistance to physical damage and also necrotic. We're going to take half damage from that, but maybe I can keep it up the entire time. Let's back up. Actually, I'm going to take a potion of speed. 65% chance. Not that much. Try to keep her in there by moving up here, and then I'm going to cast Mirror Image. And Jahira, how about you give me a little Moonbeam? Triple Moonbeam here. Nice. Damn it. That's cool. Astarion's... I'm not even controlling Astarion right now. He wasn't in my party. Alright, gal, what do you got for us, my man? 45 HP, 60. Okay. Like 20 radiant damage if it starts its turn in sunlight. You know, I do have the uh, daylight spell, but I don't have it ready. Char's Darkness. You know what? We're going to do bless. I think that'll help a lot. One gone. Vampires are no joke.
don't want to create darkness all around me, but... Given offense. Nice. Last vampire spawn that we have to fight when we go to Cazador's mansion. I guess this was a good thing. Really should focus on one. Yeah, you can't move Moonbeam when in wild shape. This is a bummer. left. Nice. I wonder if I'll be able to revive a Starion if he died in this fight. He's not technically in my group. I mean, he is, but he's not one of my controllable companions right now. Talking to Gale. Was it true what they said? That you gave up fighting him long ago? You don't know what it was like. There was no way out. Once, in the first decade of my slavery, I found a darling boy who I couldn't bear to bring back to him, so I ran. Instead of hurting that sweet man. After Cazador caught me, the bastard sealed me, starving inside a dusty tomb all on my own for an entire year. A year of silence. Months of scratching my hands raw, trying to carve my way out. More months of not moving at all. Months wishing only for death. So don't you ever judge me for doing what Cazador ordered. Damn. Starion's getting deep here. We're finding... He's so easy to kill earlier on. But if you just stick with him and learn more about him, you start to feel some sympathy. I have no words, Starion. I'm so sorry. Nothing can make up for that. Not even Cazador's death. I'm happy I kept him around, even though his morality is questionable. I mean, understandable, but it's still questionable. 
Uh oh. Now we got a black screen. I think it's going to come back. It's done this to me a few times. Yeah, I'm happy that we kept him around. Even though we were, for the most part, doing a morally good run here. I mean, Shadowheart went off the deep end, but... Okay. Well, let's go to bed. <laughs> Still have... I didn't level up after that? Are you serious? How did I not level up? bit bugged out here. There we go. Okay, and then back down here we go. So what I wanted to try before we mess with this weird puzzle thing is let's just try the knock spell. Work smarter, not harder, right? Okay, I think that did it. <laughs> we don't even have to mess with these. I don't it seems like it did it. Maybe. No! No! All right. Let's figure out these valves then. Mr. Bear, come on over here. So I didn't mean to click that. Gonna wait till everybody's ready to level up. Okay, so what do we got here? Let me read this note again. Manipulate the valves to get the water level and heat level to their optimum levels at the same time. Don't get scalded. This looks like it's the heat, and this looks like it's the water. I'm assuming these valves are going to make these go up a little bit. We try to get it into the green. Let's see what happens. Water level rising. Not doing anything. Okay. Watching the timer on the top right now. Oh, crap. And the green. Perfect water level canceled out. Um, what do we do here? What do we do? Is that going to drop back down? Oh no. Wow, it's loud in here. Okay. Overheated. Perilously hot. Two turns remaining. All right, let's bring another companion in. How about Shadowheart?
perfect warmth. I think it's just a game of timing. Fairly warm. Okay. Wonder if I twisted it right now, if it would go back into. I'm gonna let them both reset. The water one's more delayed. Okay, here we go. Let's do the water one. We got two turns remaining. And now we'll do the temperature one. One turn remaining. Let's see what happens. Uh, hurry up, water. Go, 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 go. Oh, we got it. Nice. That was pretty cool. a little bit of XP right now and get my entire party to level 10 oh man that doesn't look good let's hit f5 you know what I'm just gonna level up we're getting in I don't know if we're gonna get that XP here shortly I wonder if I could just run around the sewers a little bit more let's go back this way we know we're in the area where Minsk is I think Let's go explore something that we haven't explored yet. Maybe I'll get that little XP boost and then I can level my entire party to 10 before we go through that suspect tunnel right there. All right, so this is where I was before. This is where we have not gone yet, I don't think. What's that? Barecki, don't be mad if you find this, boys. I'm not trying to keep the treasure from you. We just ripped off Gortash. <laughs> Poor Gortash getting ripped off. Looks like a waypoint right there. I'm assuming that there's... No house creatures up here. We watch, we wait. Whoa. Voiceless Penitent Baraki. This is the guy that was in the books. Okay. Only got six HP. Waypoint discovered. He's running for my bear. <laughs> the penitent looks at you silently, expectantly. You all right? The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Uh, who are you? The penitent doesn't respond. Holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. Shall we trade that? There's the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. Interesting. The moon basking armor. Gain 22 temp HP after casting wild shape. Wow. And while those temp HP points are active, reduce all incoming damage by one. We also have a plus two bonus to armor class and advantage on saving throws against spells. This effect persists while using your druidic wild shape ability. Well, that's definitely moon druid armor right there. If I put it on Jahira, her armor class, when she's not in wild shape, is going to drop by quite a lot. But as a moon druid, you spend a lot of your time in wild shape form, so that actually might be worth getting. The guy's charging 2,500 gold, though. Holy crap. I don't think I even have enough to sell to have that. Bone Spike Helmet. While you rage, hostile creatures in a 10-foot radius must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or take psychic damage. Nice barbarian helm right there. Alright, I'm gonna 
See if I can figure this out. I ended up buying that, actually. Let's see what it looks like. Man, that looks awesome. I'm really excited to continue to use wild shape form now. That's some really nice looking armor. And actually, let's go ahead and wild shape right now and see. We'll do we'll transform into a to a saber tooth. And we have 22 temp HP underneath our portrait right here. That's awesome. Okay, so this is the Undercity Ruins. That makes me a little bit nervous. of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach the door. It is rife with magic. Old, deathly magic. A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's door. To baptize his dais most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our Lord? How can I prove myself? You must bear proof of the Dreadlord's favor, or pay his toll of blood. Wow, so this is how you get into what I'm assuming is like a Temple of Baal. And this is where Lazel is probably being kept. Looks like we can't lockpick it. Lost in thought. Wait, we can use Arcane... We can use knock? No way. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, let's go into sneak mode. I don't think I'm ready to take on the Temple of Ball right now. Let's just see if we can get a little XP. We gotta approach this really, really cautiously here. Oh, this guy's just following me. What are you doing, Bracky? Get the hell out of here. Wow, look at this place. This looks like a battleground, if you ask me. I'm so surprised we're able to get into here with the knock spell. I think they would have taken precautions for that. Oh, God. Okay, Far Slayer of Ball. If it's just these four, I think I'm okay with that. They surprised us, though. We're going to back up. See if we can get them to come to us. Because this is pretty crazy. If my characters passed that perception check, I have a feeling they would have noticed these assassins. Kind of like when you go into the Blighted Village for the first time. Okay, everybody move the hell back. We're going to move way back. See if we can get these guys to follow. Swiftly now. And we'll call in spiritual weapon. Consider my hackles raised. Retreat. I want to say spread out a little bit. Put it right there. And we'll take my bear. 
Move you up here, my man. Yeah, let's see what happens. Well, they came over. They still got the high ground, though. Where are they right now? Well, they can't see us right now. I think they're going to come over. Well, it's not smart to run in there, so let's bring everybody back out here. Light on my feet. We'll just get out of combat. I don't think that's a battle that we want to do at the moment. <sighs> Mr. Rill. I could probably do it, but that high ground that they have, and they're invisible. Yeah, let's. Striking distance. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, at least we know we found that now. That's pretty. That's pretty insane. That looks really, really cool. Let's go back this way. Under city ruins. We'll come check out over here. What's that? Nice. Onward. Probably shouldn't lead the way with Gal. Okay, and that brings us back out into here. Just looking for a little bit of XP. That's all I want. Greasy, smelly climb up, it says right here. This must bring us back into the city. Let me loot the rest of this room. Map of the sewers. That doesn't help. Alright, let's see where this brings us up to. Lim Cargo's Basement. <laughs> what the heck?
Man. The amount of content is no astounding. Be you wicked or the tension block. Okay, let's check this ladder right here. Don't know if there's anywhere to go. Okay, I guess we're going back down. I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to go save Minsk. And I'm going to create two load points for leveling up, which is fine with me. And we'll level up Gal and Shadowheart to level 10. That's exciting. Gotcha. Level 10 Necromancer Wizard. Necromancer who doesn't get to have his undead as much as he wants to. Inured to undeath, you have steeped yourself so completely in death that you are resistant to necrotic damage, and moreover, your hit point maximum cannot be reduced. Get a cantrip. Take minor illusion. Create an illusion that compels nearby creatures to investigate. And then for spells... Planar Binding is tempting, but it's situational. I mean, a lot of these spells are situational. Let's pick up Wall of Stone. A solid CC spell right there. And I think I'm also going to pick up the level 2 Mirror Image. It's one of the best defensive spells in the game. And then Gale will have it, and also Shadowheart. And then when we go to Sorceress Sundries, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of scrolls that we can buy to enhance and expand our wizard spellbook, if we have the money. Go ahead and prepare a wall of stone. Seventy three HP class features, level five spell slot unlocked, and divine intervention. No way. You can cast Divine Intervention to invoke your god's aid. Once used, this can never be used again. What did Larian just put into this game? It can never be used again. And we also get a cantrip. I'll take Thaumaturgy, Advantage on Intimidation and Performance checks. Well, I can't wait to try that. We're going to have to use it at some point. I can't beat the game without using it. Maybe we'll use it on either the Gortash or the Orin fight. If things start to go kind of wrong. It'll be interesting to see what Larian has planned for that spell. Okay. And there it is right there. Fall upon your deity in your moment of greatest need. Once they interfere, your deity will never do so in this manner again. Caster can only use this feature once in their adventure. All right, hold on. I think I can kick on it, click on it at least for the anim like the initial animation. Oh wow! Golden generosity provides you with a rich bounty of potions and camp supplies. Sunder the heretical. Bring forth a radiant cataclysm upon all nearby enemies. Eight to eighty damage. Resurrect fallen companions with half their hit points and restore all nearby allies if they had a long as if they had a long rest. That's pretty strong. And arm thy servant. Call upon your deity to grant you a legendary weapon forged in the fires of your holy bond. Oh, we might have to create a load point and try them all out. I'm so curious. Okay, let's press on and go save Minsk. From the fake Jahira. Probably send you here up a little bit. Whoa, 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 that was close. Oh my gosh, it's Roa from the Goblin Fortress. It, oh, Minsk, I missed. I didn't even see Minsk. The guy with the. 
purple tattoo on his face. I'm just surprised that we're seeing Roa again. So if we ended up attacking the Goblin Fortress, Roa would probably be dead and then not be here. That's super cool. Okay, so Minsk is doing something weird here. Here's the the fake Jahira with a hyena named Snicker. And then we got okay, interesting. Turn your gaze. Lest I turn it for you. Not really giving me much of a chance to get in here. Let's um Let's dismiss Wild Jape. Take a short rest. The party member's in danger right now. Oh my gosh, what is my bear doing? <laughs> the animal companions are really bad at following. Alright, I'm dismissing you. Spiritual weapon is in combat right now. Oh, spiritual weapon still fighting <laughs> back at the the ball temple place. That's funny. Okay, now we're good. Let's go ahead and call in. Call in the wolf. Let's call in Fern. Fern wants to be here for this big moment here. When we see Minsk. Now we can take a short rest. A brief respite. I'm thinking about sending Jahira and Wolf ahead here. We're going to leave Gale and Shadowheart back here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, here we go. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We enter him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend too? <coughs> Rodent? Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Flop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you. On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. Oh, just... Wow, just straight into combat. Okay. It's quite the battlefield here. Bardic Inspiration on Minsk. Okay, um, this is going to be interesting. Back up a little bit. I think I might have to use this as a choke point in here. Ready. Do not kill him! Find another way! Please. Do not kill him. Okay. All right, so I think we're going to have to get Minsk low on HP and then perhaps toggle on non-lethal attack. Not sure. We can go all out, all out on Jahira, though. All right, let's see how we're going to do this. Start off with a moonbeam. Make them all walk right through the center right here. And I'm going to wild shape into Albert. I'm stunned right now. Okay. I'm either going to take the opportunity attack to move back and form this choke point. I will just hold their ground. See if we can get a shot off with these two. Alright, for Gale, we're going to do a lot of daggers. Actually, let's do Conjure Elemental. We're going to do a 
to a fire elemental. I'm able to get that without moving. Not enough space. And then let's do a, you know, I could do wall of stone right now. I'm not going to be able to do it in here, actually. Let's start off with a... Start off with haste. Oh, we'll start off with magic missile. Cannot find path. Wow, this is difficult in here. The owlbear is so big. <laughs> okay. Hold on. be careful with AOE because I have to do a melee attack I think for the non-lethal. Alright Mr. Fire Elemental you think you can get up there somehow? Let's see do we have yes we do have Elemental Warp that's exactly what I was looking for. We'll come in right here. Let's just start chipping away we're gonna start on Jahir I guess. Might just be a doppelganger. I don't think it's actually Orin. I thought it was Orin before. Infern, I'm gonna have you. Can't really do much. If you're able to jump out, I'll have you jump out. Nope. Much uglier twin sister. Vince does not like this. <laughs> so Matt Mercer is the voice actor for Minsk, and you can hear that it's Matt Mercer, but he's also doing a phenomenal job at the same time. Also calling Spirit Guardian, spiritual weapon. Come on, get it right in there. Perfect. And back up a little bit. Invoker of Ball casts slow on Wolf. We're going to counterspell that. Nice, we almost have the fake Jahira down. I can't see anything with him right now. Nothing. We could do Clouded Daggers and then cancel it when Minsk is low on HP. I think we're going to have to get him down. So let's go ahead and do that. It's, it's going to be right on top of my elemental. I don't see... Is that not hitting Jahira? Be hitting Jahira. Don't want it to hit. Hi, Jahira. Alright, we'll go with... We'll go with that. Oh, damn it. Okay. Alright, that's okay. Oh, Jahira died. The fake Jahira. <laughs> Minsk is pissed off now. The mad Rashimar.
Oh man. Really? Ended our concent my concentration. Alright, let's attack. Push Minsk back a little bit. We're still concentrating on Moonbeam. The Lunar Mend. And this character, nope. I think I might back up a little bit. If I can. Ah, oh, this is just so tight in here. Not really the ideal battleground, but honestly, I think it would be worse if we just came out. I might have to move. I might have to move her, though. Nice. It's actually kind of cool. It's like Jahira is just not letting any of the enemies come at my party. All right, Fern, you just stay back here, my girl. Okay. See if we can get off a... Cliff of Warding. Nope. I cannot. Path is interrupted for a guiding bolt. I can just kill like two more of them, then I think I'll just rush out because it's kind of annoying being stuck in here. You know what I mean? So for now, let's go with. I'm not concentrating on anything. I'm concentrating on our shield of faith from my gear. Switch that to bless. You know what? It's time. It's time to get aggressive. Here we go. Can't reach destination. There we go. It's time to get aggressive. Playing this game no more. Alright, there we go. Need to find a way forward. We're breaking through. Alright, Jihira. Get you to move that moonbeam. Let's put that moonbeam on this person right here. And we're going right back into wild shape form next round. Perfect. I didn't even see the hyena. All right, Fern. Go help your master out. You can get out there, girl. I don't think she can.
We gotta get Minsk away from that. Because that thing will kill Minsk. Got a little bit of time, though. Still can't get a shot off. Okay, you know what time it is? I'll tell you what time it is. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this guy must have... Did, like, no damage. What if they have that unstoppable feat? Okay, that's making me real nervous. Might have to target my own Guardian of Faith. Seriously. I don't know if there's a way to get rid of it. It's not concentration, but that thing was about to kill Gal. Or was about to kill Minsk. Alright, Gal. Might have to use Sunbeam right now. Go ahead and Misty Step. Let's get a little high ground. Let's see. I can get up there. I can get up here. Oh, it's the Nether Reese. That's the self the suicide thing. It's a good thing I didn't click that. I broke my concentration. Okay, now we're fighting Minsk, so let's make sure we turn on non-lethal. And let's see... We could do... We could... Hmm, could hold him right now. I actually like that idea a lot, and we'll take care of everybody else. That's what we'll do. Let's go into... Going to Panther form. Let's change it up a little bit. Hyena versus Wolf. Five. Don't think we need spirit guardians. Let's just go ahead and finish off this guy. We'll do a level four guiding bolt. Nice. Ice knife. Get that out of here. Get that out of here, dude. Okay, this guy's got seventeen HP. Oh man, so close. Two HP left. Let's 
Minsk is back. Don't know if the wolf can actually do non-lethal attacks or what. Gotta be real careful here. Maybe when he gets low HP, we'll just get like a cutscene or something. Oh damn, that's close, wolf. Hunter's mark on Jahira. Fine with it. Okay, let's take care of this guy first. Seriously? So, with my character, I know I can do non-lethal. With Shadowheart Spear, I know I can do it. Let's go ahead and get right up in the action next to Minsk. 22 HP. Oh, nice. Holy crap. Damn. It took him out with one swing right there. And he is knocked unconscious. Okay, perfect. Septic. Knocked out. We got an update on the quest, too. We managed to subdue Minsk for now. We should deal with him before he has a chance to come to his senses. What does that mean? Get it. You know what? I'm gonna let this guy have his... We'll let this guy have a little fun. Kind of feel bad for him. He hasn't landed a spell yet. You know what I'm saying? Swords meet sorcery. Damn, 43 damage with blight. That's awesome. Alright. Panther has jugular strike, prowl, turn invisible while stalking your prey. That's crazy. Oh, that's awesome. Darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Killed. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Elithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Okay, well that right there makes me feel a certain way about the Emperor. It's a little bit of my bias of loving Minsk from the original Baldur's Gate games because my character might not necessarily know Minsk as well as I do, the player. But the Emperor's statement right there, just get rid of him. That tells me a little bit about him, so... Let's extend our protection to Minsk. Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. Yeah. I mean, the Emperor knows that Jahira's in our group, and Jahira is 
really close friends with Minsk, and the Emperor should also know how much of a hero that Minsk is, so I don't trust the Emperor at all anymore. Not that I ever did before, but I was starting to come around a little bit. His unpredictability saved the city before. We need him. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple. It doesn't matter. Help him. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by. Battles fought and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira. You killed her you are being dramatic the instant's hesitation is enough with a sensation of terrible rending something vast and nameless falls away from his mind there it is done <laughs> Jahira? i do not understand good that means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. <laughs> but first, you have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? Because I'm infected too. I know your actions weren't your own, Minsk. A level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast. And he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he? He's on his way! Trying to find... Boot. Gotta find his... Miniature giant space hamster. I don't know if we're supposed to be following him. Where are you? Time to get going. Where's Boo? My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. I do trust you. I think. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul, 
and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? <laughs> Such boundless compassion. You are all heart. And whiskers. And cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mins to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. <laughs> and Boo, meet you. Oh my god. I'm smiling so hard right now that my face hurts. I know I don't use a webcam for the Let's Play series, but this is a special moment right now. <laughs> Look at the responses. What is it? A rat? We're going to be respectful towards Minsk. We spent enough time with Jahira. He's told us all the tales of Minsk, and perhaps my character has heard of him too. It is an honor. No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. <laughs> Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil together. Can I trust you not to turn on me again, Stone Lord? I give you my solemn vow. Should any of us show signs of weakening to the worm, or any other evil, Boo will slaughter us all in our beds. I hope this brings you comfort. Good enough for me. Let's go. You have a great many companions already. There is no room for little Boo. Or slightly larger Minsk. Why don't you wait at my camp instead? I have things to do. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but... As you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings. What an awesome scene right there. For Larian to somewhat introduce us to Minsk. That's the second scene that we've seen him without him having Boo and then following his character back here in that emotional scene right there. How amazing. Bravo to Larian and bravo to Matt Mercer for the voice acting. So Minsk and Boo are officially at our camp now, but this episode is very, very long. So I'm going to call it quits right here. And we shall continue our adventures with Jahira and Minsk and Boo at our sides in episode 20. Catch you all in the next one.